Our next story is from India. Every year, Delhi shivers, burns and chokes even more due to air pollution. A seasonal crisis returns like clockwork, unchecked, unbroken and increasingly deadly. And now, according to a think tank, biomass burning might be an active contributor to the pollution levels of the region. So, what have they found? Our next report gives you all the details. Delhi's winter nightmare continues to haunt. As temperatures drop sharply, the streets tell a familiar story. Daily wage workers, night commuters, families with no shelter, all gather around small roadside fires. burning wood, leaves, and waste, just to stay warm. But these flames come at a deadly cost. Biomass burning. This is a major issue that has emerged as the primary contributor to Delhi's smoggy winter air. from household fuel to crop residue, from garbage to forest fires, biomass burning has emerged as a major driver of India's air pollution crisis. Every fire releases toxic PM 2.5 particles, black carbon, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and a range of volatile organic compounds. These pollutants are small enough to enter the bloodstream, yet powerful enough to choke an entire city. What offers warmth to a few poisons the air for millions. This is not just pollution. It's a slow-burning public health crisis. When pollutants, including PM 2.5 and chemicals, are inhaled, it triggers diseases like asthma, chronic bronchitis, heart disease, lung cancer, and even cataracts. For years, blame has pointed to the national capital's north to farm fires in Punjab and Haryana. Stubble burning has long been seen as the main villain behind New Delhi's winter smog. But now, that narrative is being challenged. A new analysis by Delhi-based think tank Center for Science and Environment narrates a different story. The latest study compared two key phases, the early winter months of October and November, when farm fires peak, and December, the so-called post-farm fire period, when their impact fades. This year, farm fires have already been fewer, and by December, their contribution to PM 2.5 levels dropped sharply. Yet Delhi's air didn't improve. In fact, pollution got worse. CSE found that average PM 2.5 levels increased in December, despite the decline in stubble burning influence. A striking contradiction. Fewer fires outside the city, but dirtier air within it. The conclusion is clear and alarming. Delhi's winter pollution is being driven largely by local and regional sources. Vehicle emissions, industrial pollution, waste burning, and the widespread use of solid fuels for cooking and heating. The smoke is not just blowing in, it's rising from the city itself. As winter deepens, cold air traps pollutants close to the ground. Wind slows, dispersion drops, and the toxic mix hangs heavy over homes, roads, and lungs. Every matchstick lit on a pavement adds another layer to the smog. Experts warn, without urgent action on local emissions, 
Delhi's air crisis will remain a winter ritual. Because this season, the data is undeniable. The national capital isn't just choking because of fires beyond its borders. It's suffocating from within. The question remains, for how long will New Delhi keep choking on a crisis it knows too well?